On this episode, we're in Italy. Apart from the pasta and the beautiful beaches, we're about to check out a marina which is home to $1 billion worth of super yachts. That's billion with a B. This is one of the most expensive marinas in Sardinia. And the second most expensive in the entire world. But just how much are we talking? For the first time, we're gonna find out how much it's gonna cost us to stay at Porto Cervo. Hi, uh, we were just wondering how much it costs for tonight. <laughs> John, did you hear that? Who would pay that? We're currently living on board a 55 foot Genoa and sailing the Med. We've been exploring abandoned islands, national parks, and last episode we met the King of Tavalara. We're right on the northern tip of Sardinia and we sailed here all the way from Spain. A little later today, we're going to free dive the coastline, have an Uber Eats experience surrounded by dolphins. <laughs> And then we're going to begin our 36 epic hour sail to our next country, France. I gotta say that it reminds me of like in California. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Welcome aboard guys. It is officially our last day in Italy. So we wanted to end this part of the trip somewhere really special. Wow. We are just poking our noses into Porto Servo. This is supposed to be one of the most expensive marinas in Sardinia. And globally, it's the second most expensive after Capri. I personally didn't believe it at first, so I had to Google it and yup, lo and behold, time and time again, it was second on the list. But of all the places around the world, why here? Oh, you're looking it up? I'm asking ChatGPT why there's so much money there. Oh my gosh, what does it say? A combination of exclusive amenities, a reputation of luxury, and the attraction of an elite clientele has contributed to Porto Servo's status as the wealthiest destination in Sardinia. Playground for the rich, it says. It was founded by Prince Karim Aga Khan in the 1960s. It was a village retreat for the rich and famous, attracting only the richest of yacht owners in the world. Who is the most... Probably the most recent celebrities here were Leonardo DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire, AKA Spider-Man, and Sylvester Stallone. These guys probably spend tens of thousands of dollars to stay here, but we're just on a 55 foot boat. If we want to tie up at this marina, it could cost us up to 900 euro a night. That's what we've been told. I'm not even sure if that's true or not, but um. They run us out. And when to sail? Oh, we yeah. shouldn't be doing this. No engines on. Oh my gosh. So how much is it going to cost us to stay here for the night? Well, up until this point, we've avoided marinas as much as possible. John and I have literally saved probably thousands of dollars in rent since we've started our sailing trip here in Europe. Out here on the water, we can just drop our anchor whenever we want. If we feel like lunch, good barbecue. a swim, <laughs> or asleep for the night. All these beautiful bays have been rent free. They haven't cost us a dime. And we're starting to feel like we could live on board and do this for an eternity and perhaps just continue bunny hopping our way from one beach to the next. Really the only time we've booked into a marina is A, when we're running out of water and need to refill our tanks, B, if we want to explore town, let our hair down and have a couple of sneaky drinks. Cheers. <laughs> or C, if the weather is turning foul. Now, a couple of episodes back, we met a local skipper who actually told us about this expensive marina called Porto Cervo. And he's like, oh, there's a good marina up here, but he said it's a little bit expensive. He said, this one's 900 euro a night. And he goes, this one over here is 400 euro a night. And so we're going to investigate if this is true or some kind of joke because the most we've ever paid for Marina is 200 euros, and that was steep. I'm gonna get the big camera out, because this is too beautiful not to show you the real beauty of this place. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you this orange house to the left. Before I cold call the Marina de Porto Trevo, I wanna find out a little bit more about this town. So it's home to 400 people or so, and the properties are more like mansions here. Online, a quick search shows an average square meter here costs 7,000 thousand three hundred euros oh my god it's so beautiful all the houses on the terrace and the marina goes around to the left does it the yeah. boat's so big that i can't even get them in shot 
I saw that the police are fining people 300 euro for anchoring in here. Really? Yeah. Well, it's cheaper than the marina. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's probably why they're finding people. So anchoring here just isn't an option for us. And so we have just one last thing to do. No engine on. John's thinking about sailing out of here as well. And that is to call the marina office. Okay, we're gonna call the marina and find how much how much uh, it is for the night. What are we? Where? How many meters? 16 meters, five meters wide, two point four meters deep. Hi, uh, we were just wondering uh, how much it costs for a berth tonight for a 16 meter boat, 5 meter width. Okay, so 771 for the night. Yeah, but actually we have no place. Oh, you have no places. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for trying. No problem. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Girl, John, did you hear that? Who would pay that? Well, obviously a lot of people would support them, so maybe they need to charge more. <laughs> that is unreal. And did you hear what he said? It comes with a car park. Oh, thank God it was full. I didn't have to make up an excuse as to why we weren't going to stay there for that price for the night. And if we visit Sardinia again, we're definitely going to stick to the shoulder season. I can't believe the amount of traffic that is in this region. Can we just play a quick game and can we count all the number of boats around us? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 16. 7, 8. 16, 17, 80, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27, 8, 9, 40, 41. That's not even including all those guys over there. This is definitely the busiest area I've ever sailed in. Uh, I want to turn left right now. I can't. You know what I mean? Boats everywhere. <laughs> There are so many incredible anchorages here and some of the best beaches in Europe. I mean, Sardinia has more than 2,000 kilometers of coastline. In fact, if you were to count all the marinas around the island, there are more than 20,000 berths. I guess there's just a huge population in Europe. Like, if you think about it, you've got so many different countries that are all converging on the same islands in the same region. It's understandable. What is the population of Europe? The last count was 750 million. And one of our favorite spots in Sardinia, which I shared with our patrons last week in our extended one hour cart, is this dolphin retreat. It's called Figueralo Island, where the water is crystal clear. So we just spent the afternoon free diving and just soaking up the solitude of this place. The day is breaking softly and the night is glowing true I feel a million eyes I have a new PB And then we topped off the day with a treat ice cream. You don't See, want ice cream? ice cream and now I'm gonna go buy it That's okay. it Ah, thank you I didn't know that they do this Bye, Bye. If you want to go check it out, I'll leave a link to our Patreon in the comments section below. I'll be sharing all our extra outtakes, behind the scenes material. If you want to follow along, especially as our next adventure is about to begin as we prepare to sail to France. I should mention this morning, John found a life-changing device on board that could become our favorite new toy for the journey ahead. Are you joking me? Yeah, there's a little remote control in the chart table. And you can just go like left, right. What happened? He's gonna steer the boat from there. Drop <laughs> it. Oh my gosh, you don't make me nervous. Five knots. So this is the remote. Oh my. And you can just go left and right. We are so excited to explore the French Riviera. This has been a bucket list item ever since I was a little girl. I've heard so much about this place and it's extra special because we're on board our stunning French yacht, the Juno 55, which of course, as you know, Juno Yachts kindly lent us. You know, they handed us the keys and they told us that we could take her anywhere we wanted to. But John and I decided that France was going to be a great place to spend the next month on board. But we have to get there first and we have a 36 hour passage ahead of us. So John, our captain, is planning the route and he's checking the weather. 1.44 days, half the time motoring. 
maximum speed 17 knots, minimum speed 2.4, average 8.2. Upwind's only 7 seven cents, so it's on the beam and downwind most of the time. So, the plan is to sail up the west coast of Corsica for a 200 plus nautical mile journey. We have enough food and water on board, so that's not a problem. But we do need to make a dash for it and get going as soon as possible because strong winds are forecast. We had considered extending our time here in Italy, but if we did do that, the downfall would be that would run the risk of getting stuck with little protection and as we've seen, really expensive marinas. So we'd be putting ourselves and the boat at risk if we were to stay. So John just put out the code zero, as you can see. We are departing Sardinia and we are making our way to France, which is really exciting. This is a really, um, I guess last minute decision because some really strong winds are about to belt us. So we wanted to get out of this region before they do. So let the 36 hour sail begin. By the way, we didn't have a sponsorship for this episode, but you can still show your support by leaving us a super thanks, which is a brand new feature I just found out about. It's where you can donate to your favorite channel. So perhaps if you've enjoyed my videos for a while or you love where we're going, you can make a huge difference with a small one-off donation. Editing the next episode, are you? Yeah. How's it coming along? Currently two hours of the timeline. <laughs> Ultimately, it's been our sponsors playing a massive role in keeping this channel alive and running. But I hope with people power, we can make videos with less ads, which means more fun. I'll be putting out another hour long video for patrons over the next couple of days. So alternatively, pop over if you want to unlock those extras and thank you for all your support, likes and subscribing. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.